Ezekiel chapter 46, we, we have the mention of this individual called the prince. And nobody seems to really know who he is. He's certainly not Jesus, the prince of peace, but he's some kind of leader, some kind of person who's helping people, the people of Israel with religious practices and rites and uh, perhaps even some commentators say a descendant of David and is given the name Prince because, well, of course we know the descendants of David one day end up being Jesus himself. Who he is? Not real clear, but we do know this, that he's mentioned eight times in Ezekiel chapter 46. And once again, he's engaged in leading the people in acts of worship. He's involved in the temple and these different practices. And, and I would just say this about him. If he is a descendant of David, and if he is pointing us to the Prince of Peace, the Prince of Heaven, so to speak, Jesus, Jesus will eventually do the things of worship that count more than any prince could ever do. He lays down his life. And one of the practices that Jesus leads us into is, well, he established it on that night just before he's crucified, communion, the Last Supper. And he encourages us to do it in remembrance of him. So this is our prince, the prince of heaven. But this prince is mentioned here in chapter 46. It says, the prince shall enter by the way of the vestibule, the gateway from the outside and stand by the gatepost. The priest shall prepare burnt offerings and his peace offering. He shall worship at the threshold of the gate and he shall go out, but the gate shall not be shut until evening. So in chapter 46, it seems like a lot centers around types of worship, what goes on, how it's done. And I think most of all, it points to the Prince of Peace who takes us through that amazing practice of communion, where he says, this is my body, this is my blood, and that is the prince who, well, opens the door for us, and one of the greatest practices ever, the door of eternal life. And we remember this prince over and over again by taking communion together and recognizing that it's his body and it's his blood that has given us true peace. He's our Prince of Peace, shadowed for us in Ezekiel chapter 46, but seen completely in a real solid way in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ.